In today's illustrated tutorial, learn how to design a vector mountain in quick and very easy steps indeed. Now one really awesome place to learn new skills is Skillshare. I'm giving away two months of free access to the premium version totally for free. You can make great use of their classes and learn the skills that are going to enable you to get to where you want to be in your career or your hobby. So stay tuned to the very end of the video and find out how to get two months free access to this awesome opportunity. Now to start our mountain poster design, we need a background. I'm going to press M for the rectangle tool and then create a shape that covers the entire artboard. Pressing shift and X will flick the stroke over to a color fill. And then I'm going to add a gradient and this is going to be a freeform gradient, which is actually only doable in Illustrator CC. However, a standard gradient will also work just fine. Now I often use the lines function with the uh, freeform gradients, but for this design here, I think I'm going to use the points option and just use two or three color notes. This shape is going to be the sky background and I'm going for a kind of late afternoon kind of sunset vibe. So the bottom of the rectangle is going to be brighter than the top of the design. You can obviously, you know, do what you want and maybe a nighttime sky will look pretty cool. So for that, you'd use dark purples as an example. We now need to create a bold flat shape for the mountain itself. So press P for the pen tool and then draw a shape similar to mine here. Now it's a good idea to make small changes in direction on your vector path to create a realistic mountain outline. I have a guide running down the exact center of my artboard so I can finish the peak of the mountain centered on my design. I'm then going to add a color fill to this shape and we're going to make use of the swatches window today because it is going to become important later in the design process. But to add your color to the swatches library, simply choose the color in the left color palette and then drag and drop it into the swatches panel. So for my mountain, I've elected for a dark muddy purple kind of color and this is going to represent the lack of light being cast onto the mountain itself. Next, we were going to add the highlights to really set off the design. But first, select everything and then hit Command or Control 2 on your keyboard and this will lock down the shapes of your design. Using the pen tool, make shapes like this on your mountain and then add a gradient fill. The trick here is to have one side of the gradient white and the other side the exact same color as the mountain and that's achieved by heading into the swatches. But change the opacity of this side down to zero. Also adjust the slider until you see your gradient fitting for your design. And also you can press G for the gradient tool which will give you more room to be precise and to adjust your gradient. Now I did spend quite a while adjusting the shapes of these highlights and adjusting the gradients too. So do be patient and do take your time with this part of the design process. We're now going to make a moon and you can obviously make a sun or a full moon, but I want to make a crescent moon for my design. So I'm gonna press L on my keyboard for the ellipse tool and then hold down shift and click and drag like so. Now to duplicate the circle, hold down the Alt Option key and then click and drag again, which you've seen me do millions of times in my tutorials. But for the new circle, make it a tiny bit larger and then place it and position it like so. Then select both circles and in the Pathfinder window, use the minus front option. You can then add the color fill and place it on your design. Now I actually lowered the opacity a little bit so the moon kind of blends into the design in a subtle, subtle way. Finally, add typography and whatever else you feel is going to work for your design. Now if you do go ahead and make this yourself, do tag me on Instagram or Twitter and I may very well repost your work. And remember guys, if you want to learn useful skills for your design and career or a hobby, make 2020 the year you master them by taking classes on Skillshare made by professionals in their relative fields. So maybe you want to become a more efficient logo designer, or you want to perfect the art of writing. 
Whatever it is, you can do it on Skillshare in an easily structured manner to fit your schedule. Using my link down in the description box below, you can have access to Skillshare classes for two months totally for free, so there's never been a better opportunity than now to become a better creative in the desired field that you want to. And today's video was a poster design in Illustrator, and there is actually a handy poster design course that I found on Skillshare by Temi Koka. So do check out Skillshare linked down below and grab yourself two months of access to the premium version totally for free. Also subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content and have a great weekend and until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.